So real quick, uh, I've been playing the game a lot, just not recording anything. For a while I was just doing a lot of hunting and trying to fish for that uh, legendary fish in Lake Owangila. And uh, I was upgrading some of the camp, but I wasn't recording anything. So all I got was a couple clips of some of the gameplay. Because I also tried to go up in Annisburg and I would come across things that I just I wasn't recording. And I, I still think they're worth of note as far as like 100% PC gameplay. So uh, here's just a couple clips I picked up and then the episode's going to start. <sighs> Are you fuck off? Okay, so I have been not playing for a little bit. Or okay, that's a lie. I've been playing, just not recording. Whoops. Um, I've been playing here and there. Almost had me, idiot. Uh. I've been playing by myself a few times, just because for the longest time all I was doing was hunting and um, fishing for that one fucking smallmouth at Lake Owangila. Still haven't gotten it. Decided I was going to go back at a later time. It is supposed to be one of the most elusive legendary fishes, but at the same time, I feel like... There's some sort of programming glitch where it's just not giving it to me right now. So, um, leaving off of where we were at the end of the last episode, this is the beginning of chapter four. I'm just going to start right off the bat doing one or two story missions based off of the pace of the game. Then, uh, new chapter calls for a new wardrobe. So, probably do that too. Hey, friend, I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the the Steel Saloon, opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Appreciate it. Just watch yourself, he's got quite the reputation. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it, boy. While I was out there, I got my horse bonding to level 4. So, me and the boy are now best friends forever. Uh, I'm gonna mind my own business because I remember what happened. Stick him up, cowboy. He's got a Schofield. <laughs> yeah, real 
funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Nan. Everybody's like, hey! It's that guy again. The guy that sucks at poker. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorn for you. Hey, can I get a drink dirty little French secret? <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless all right. we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> but let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, poor service. You look like a whiskey man. Yeah. Sure. A dollar, please. A dollar? Whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. Mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Fine. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Uh. Yeah, I find him. Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. All right. Oh, hey, friend. You, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Kids in the alley. Virgil Dawson. Millinery at its finest. Beautiful foliage guaranteed and fancy goods. You know you can't trust kids in literally any video game. Like dead space? No way, Jose. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. Huh. You said it, girlfriend. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, That's like over a hundred dollars. You the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Could be as much as 150. Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. You don't now, say. He is a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? 
No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little bit of shit. Get going, he's coming after us. Get back here. If only you could just take out your gun and fucking shoot the driver. Fucking dumbass, learn how to drive. What the fuck? Thank you, Rockstar. Very cool. Oh, my horse was right there. I couldn't jump on it. And the fucking train goes faster as I get closer to it. Eh, set, scripted. Oh shit. Sorry, ma'am. Did she call me a straight up dick sucker? You got $3,000 in that thing. Hell he go. Oh, thank God for the dots on the mini map. Excuse me. I'm telling you, if you almost got me a Ah, fucking Arthur, come on. Did you just thank? That fucking trapper without hmm. nothing What's from him. Problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Good thing we had that super glue on hand. Did he take $300 from me? That mother fucker. Adobe, where are you at?
There you are. Stay close, Adobes. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east to land we know, and far from real open country. The joys of civilization. Alright, uh, depending on which the next mission is, we might just go ahead and start that one. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? <coughs> Must be. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? It's crazy all the things that you notice and the subtleties. Talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. 
twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodoro. What the embarrassed woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marsh. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> Look at this tiny ass couch we're sitting on. So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, 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 no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to a grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linden, mm -hmm. uh, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. And uh, now it's fucking nighttime. Thank you, Rockstar. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Rance. For all the money we cost. Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. You dang near killed me. Okay. Yeah, well, you walked in the road, so... Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. All right, Dobes. I guess there's nobody here yet, is there? Keep it down. Don't want to bolt on us. Just a dog. Let's keep going. You hear that coffin? Just, just wait a second. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. 
Our friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Did you see that? Hang on. There might be something. My friend was telling me about people that run around in the cemetery. I never seen a book. John, what are you doing? Well, it looks like someone's been here. Please walk through me. I'll Do you see first. that? You stay close. Got a double action. Well, at least they're in the right place for it. All right, now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Robin grave robbers, we've hit the big time. Holy shit, they've got a lot of money. We can't go back to Bronte without being shot for it, Arthur. John, will you calm down? Come on, let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Here. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just try it back to where we came in. Damn it. If I take out that policeman, am I going to fail the mission? John, give me a second. Come on, John. Over here. Rockstar. Stay close. Oh. 
Oh. Thank you, Rockstar. Very cool. <laughs> uh, Go, 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 go. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Alright, I'll see you there then, lol. Damn it, John. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Alright, let's get this done. And didn't hitch. Thank you, Rockstar. Very cool. No, you come on, John. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said, you took your time. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank you Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Mr. <sighs> us to a garden party at the mayor's house <laughs> and is, us just that's simple so. country boys why don't we just Let's go. leave we have a new camp set up jack you're gonna love it yeah all right let's get this boy back to his mother Sure, you're okay, son. I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box and lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. Sure. You know, caballo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Hmm. Goddamn wild boars. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> You ever eat that? Come here, you son of a bitch. You got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <sighs> Jack, Jack, how are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, 
Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Orson. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Maybe thank you, Arthur. Up. <laughs> Look at these two legends. I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. I fucking love this game. And gang reunion. Hey, make some room for John there. Can I sit here? Am I allowed to? Gang is celebrating. Can I play a little? Of course you can. Well done, John. You couldn't have done it without Dutch and Arthur. The old guard. A merry relief. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle. I'm gonna have some soup. And I'm gonna go to bed. Can I talk to anybody? You getting involved, Bill? Just getting my drink out first. Okay. <laughs> you okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got if you say so. God. <laughs> Thank you, Rockstar. Very cool. Paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. All right, let me finish this. Can't talk to her anymore. Super dope. Yes, indeed. 
Feels like we can move forward again. I hope so. Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging there was So no good to have you back. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. And to see a smile on your mama's face again. Clean through. Okay, I'll catch you later then. <laughs> bye bye. Did and he's the one that turned me into a dirty little drunk. This is like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. Where did Jack go? Oh, there he is. So then he must have been talking to me. Man, they are sloshed. There ain't no being saved. Oh. Ain't no being lost. Okay. <laughs> Them fights was over long ago. Or never happened. Was only invented to make you feel something out of nothing. Makes no difference. Ain't sure nothing makes a difference. Can't see how. Tide comes in. Tide goes out. You was born. You die. In between, you do what you do. Ain't no good, ain't no bad, just things that make you feel good or make you feel sad. And just the length of time between being born and dying, that's all there is. <laughs> ain't no old man judging man. Ain't no heaven. And maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. And I'm gonna be right at home there. That's it. See it for what the hell it is. What a fucking snake. You know? What a guy. You know, it makes it hard to not be sympathetic to Dutch, you know? Very, very good. Alright. That it? Can I go to bed now? Sounds like it. There he is. Old Arthur. 
this can? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. <laughs> See? See? What I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna... Make it. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are going to leave this place. And we are going to find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti. Fiji. Australia. The real new world, not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has handed out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Free. Yes, we are, Dutch. That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. The foreboding lightning storm. That lightning storm is intense as fuck. And it's just lightning. Oh god. Shit gets real from here on out.